All right, we'll call Excellent. the meeting to order at 601. You're in a good spot, no matter where you're at. We'll start with the roll call. <laughs> Mrs. Fraser? Here. Mr. Markovitz? Here. Mr. Mitlick? Here. Mr. Sharma? Here. Mr. Spice? Here. And we got Mrs. Walker, right? That's it. All right. <laughs> Okay, we have the meeting minutes from June 17th and July 1st to approve. Um, the vote was corrected um, as was voted on the June 17th minutes. So I'll make a motion to approve those as submitted. I'll second that. Mrs. Frazier? Yes. Mr. Markovitz? Yes. Mr. Mitlick? Yes. Mr. Sharma? Yes. Mr. Spice? Yes. And then we were emailed the minutes from July 1st. Um, did anyone have any comments on those? I didn't take a look at them that much. Yeah. But um, it looked all right. I would be fine with them. Okay. Yeah. I'll make that motion, please. I'll second. First, second, David. Mrs. Frazier? Yes. Mrs. Markovitz? Yes. Mr. Mitlick? Yes. Mr. Sharma? Yes. Mr. Spice? Here, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Is there anyone here tonight who does not have a case on the agenda? Okay. We'll be starting with the first case, um, which is 2019 Trailwood Drive. You're here? Okay. And I'm not an anti vaxxer or anything. I'm wearing a mask because I have a cold and I can't, in good conscience, sit here next to people with my cold right now. So. <laughs> That's the mask for me. So, okay. It's good you know it's just a cold. It, oh, well, I assume it's just a cold. As far as we know, right? As far as I know, it's just a cold. <laughs> I've Hi had again. the vaccine, so, all right. Okay. I hope the drawings this time suffice. From last time, we just kind of penciled everything in, and, and you asked for the um, elevation, I believe they're called. So, yes. I called in a couple favors from some friends, and they, and they drew it up for us. Yeah, good. <clears throat> oh, I have another one. Good. Everybody has one. So we want to square off the back of our garage because we have too many bicycles, ladders, tools, and other things, and they don't fit in our garage anymore. So we were hoping to extend the garage and uh, square it off with the current back of the home. And then we wanted to bump out our kitchen around. It's, a, it's going to be 10 feet. It's going to be 8 feet with a bay window, which will be accumulation of 10 feet. Uh, we're still debating, my wife and I, on whether to use a shed roof or a gabled roof. As you see, uh, we're going to do rocks, paper, scissors, because we were not <laughs> able to come to a decision. We didn't know if the board had a preference on that. We thought perhaps the shed roof, since we're doing a shed roof off the garage, perhaps just do a shed roof off the bump out of the kitchen and everything should blend Sometimes a little bit Sometimes they better. look good, the shed roofs, and you have to be a candidate for the uh, gable, so. And I'd rather not do the gable just because then I'd have two a set of gutters that I'd have to tie into the, to the existing storm drains. And. Um, yeah, so you're showing, uh, it looks like a saddle in this picture? Yes. Okay, is that is that if you're doing the gable? No, that is actually coming out. That's coming no out. No matter. Okay. So that's what you have now, you're saying? Yes, correct. And I wanted that transition or that um, uh, contrast so you guys could see exactly what was coming out there. Okay. Yeah, I see that now. And I thought that was part of the addition. No, that's... You know, on the pictures from the phone, you can definitely see that piece of that roof has to come out in order to continue the shed roof from the back of the garage to the very edge. And it's nice if you don't have to have one. You don't, they're functional, but they never look right, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I left the ladders in there and the rafts and all the other stuff <laughs> in the back. Unfortunately, much to my wife's chagrin, but that's all the stuff we have to find a place to store. Yeah, yeah, cover them with tarps. 
I think the majority of the people that move out of Meadowood is just because of the garage space. Yeah. You know, we're not allowed to put sheds in, and everyone's like, oh, why can't we put sheds in? But I'm yeah. not a shed advocate. Yeah. <laughs> I live on White Marsh. I've oh, the, okay. I've, I've, All right, then, neighbor. Yes. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Meadowood, too. Okay. Yeah. You're in Sandalwood? Mm -hmm. yeah. And Gina, my wife from Pennsylvania, said, then we're going to all start looking like Pennsylvania if we put yeah. allow sheds. <laughs> where, where, where in Pennsylvania? Outside of Pittsburgh. Yeah. yeah. McDonald's? Little tiny town. What, what's the name of it? McDonald. McDonald, okay. Mm -hmm. you, you never heard of Allison? Allison? Yeah. No. It's uh, between Brownsville and Uniontown. Okay. Little, little, uh, we're southwest in a little town. Very coal mine town. Yeah, Definitely yeah, yeah. a coal mine town. Yeah. Is that where you're from? Yeah. Oh, no. My parents were all. Not a Steelers there. fan, are you? No, I'm not. I'm, oh, okay. I was born in Tremont, so. Okay, well, just for the record, the, the siding, the roof, the shingles, and the trim is all going to match existing. We know house. the siding is going to be a challenge. That's aluminum. We, we're not expecting to find it. However, um, I will match it with the vinyl, and we are going to paint the whole home because the, the aluminum siding is faded. So I was going to definitely spray it with as close to the matching color as I possibly can find. The roof, I would like to use the ice guard and shingle it so everything matches, if that's possible. Somebody said as long as you use the ice guard, you can use the shingles. We are scheduled to get a new roof. It's the original roof. Um, and we did have, a, with that last storm that came in, we lost some shingles. So hopefully we're going to get you know payout from all state and uh, we already had a have a couple estimates so the whole roof will be new and it'll tie in all of the existing additions good okay kind of lucked out there huh yeah oh yeah well we'll see <laughs> we'll see what all state has to say yeah. almost everyone on my street has gotten a new roof yeah but for mm. a couple of us you can always you know. appeal it if they turn it down so yeah, yeah. yeah. all state sometimes can be tough with that that's what they say i was not <laughs> able to get my roof although my neighbors left right across the street and behind all got theirs that's, that's us. us i was the island in the middle that they said no your roof failed because it's old yeah. That's us. They so, called a guy in from Columbus, an adjuster from Columbus, uh, to look at ours. He goes, oh, we'll give you 500. There's a couple of shingles, but. <laughs> right. And then we. Yeah. We just had to buy our own roof. But yeah, I got mine roofed on okay, a long time ago, too, when they first started doing that. Yeah. Um, so for these, um, these aren't dimensioned elevations. So this is giving us a, a good feel for it, but it, we would still need to have elevations drawn. Um, the building department can supply examples if you need to know what a, an el, um, a, sorry a dimensioned elevation is. So it'll have each it's of on your the table, walls. David. What was that? I'm selling David's on the table. Okay. Oh, you're looking for scams and things. Okay. Um, so it'll have each of the faces um, full, like straight on, and it'll show where the windows are, and you'll have dimensions on everything that way. All the stuff um, we'll need those in order to be able to approve it. We require that of everybody. Okay. Um, so the the 3D models that you have are, are good for looking at how the roofing ties in, which is important. And um, looking at the shed roof versus the the gable roof, I saw the gable on one of these. I think we have one set here done that doesn't have any. Um, this set has a few. Measurements tied yeah, in. Drawn in. <coughs> you have this too? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if your set has that too. I don't think so. I think you have the same one as this. Yeah. Okay. I think it's uh, page three. Um, it's would be the second page. Sorry, I didn't realize my printer was going to print them on both sides. I would prefer <coughs> not to do it, but on the back of page two, if that's what you're referring to, the the to it, the example of the shed roofs. Okay. Yes. First, yeah. You have the gable on two. And the shed on three, and I, right. I really feel like this is a second. The other set that we have is a different copy. Three, four, two. Four. Oh no, maybe it is the same. Okay, we, so we do have it here, Don. It just starts on page two. That's why. Okay. Um. So let's close. So, yeah, the. Do you know what the slope is of the roof? Uh, I do. It's, I want to say three, is it 312? 312? Yeah, it's okay. like a little less than 312. Yeah, it looks, um, it looks steeper than that. 312 is usually the minimum for doing shingles on the roof. 
Yeah, I so thought it was like two. It? I thought it was two, like two point eight twelve. I, I did okay. calculate it, and that's why I know that we had to use a shed roof. However, I somebody did say, you know, as long as you use the ice guard, the adhesive ice guard, you could use shingles. But I'm totally fine with you know roll roofing or whatever is recommended. If you can get it up to a three twelve, that also looks better. Okay. The, the really flat roofs they tend to look kind of cheap tacked on even though I mean it could yeah. cost the same amount to build it it just has that feel to it I completely understand so if you can get it up to 312 yeah. and be able to do the ice guard and do the shingles that would be good so you don't get ice dam underneath the shingles Absolutely. if it's too flat and the I know that it's not an exact met you know if it's two you know 2.9 whether it's three right. but just getting it up higher makes it look better the only um, prohibitive piece to that was that one window that bedroom window right. but I could easily um, shrink the size of those two windows they're just the side windows on the bedroom that oh I was actually looking at the rear addition at this point for this one the rear addition oh that piece oh okay yes. oh you yes. had it drawn two ways you had to draw oh, that one is I apologize yeah that one I could definitely get to a 312 pitch yeah no. that one at a 312 pitch would be would be nice rather than the peak hitting right under the window in the gable unless you wanted to do something that use like a scissor truss and cathedral the ceiling inside of there that you would need the gable to do yes um, but if you just went with a standard shed construction I thought I think that either way would be fine okay yes we could I could definitely bump that up I'm pretty sure that roof is 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 beyond a 312 pitch it was the, it was the one off the garage that was really going to be a struggle because of that window right so yeah when you have elevations you'll show trim work too okay so you'll have trim and you'll have gutters um, some people show the downspout some people don't but as long as we're seeing that you have fascia board and trim underneath so that it's not just you know siding bumping up against asphalt shingles and no right I, I'll do it right we, we decided to spend the rest of our life in Twinsburg so we're gonna do everything okay. right you know yeah and then you'll have a door out or no no there's no door out of this there is a door absolutely uh, on page three yeah. I, I drew it in um, it's, it's on the be, garage yeah so it'll okay. be off the back of the garage which will be the bump out for the garage and the uh, I was yeah looking at the back of the house addition still the back of the house addition doesn't have a door correct <laughs> what page are we in page two and three show where the door will be relocated from where it's currently Right. The very first couple of pages. We will definitely have a man door off the back of the garage. Off of the garage, right? We're, we're planning on, you know, redoing the patio and making that all yeah. gel and mesh and put a nice patio back there with hopefully a fire pit, et cetera. I'll have to rebuild the deck probably around the outside as well. We have a hot tub. I'll have to tie that in as well to the back. Okay. You show in the plan um, a bayed window at the sink. Yes. in the kitchen yes does the entire addition follow that shape or is the window just baying out uh, that is not for certain yet I will probably construct it out so we can copy the the, the actual current status of how that bay window looks okay or I'll just you know order a bay window and, and fit well, that's it in. what I was trying to understand right because the roofing you'll end up with um, triangle pieces of roof that correct. extend out if you're doing the bay shape correct and so you might want to consider that that doesn't show up yet because it's just a, a you know a simple um, model that you have but you know if you have the wall turning those corners and then the roof doesn't you'll need to look at how the roof works with that right, and if you do the yeah with the gable roof it, it'll have one condition and if you went with your shed roof it'll have a different condition yes you know what and I mean? that's why I was thinking of just bringing the roof down and ordering a nice bay window and fit it into a rough opening okay that could work yeah, and then that may change your counter shape on the inside yes okay so that's something to consider there um, okay, keep losing And then you have, do you have any windows on the sides of that kitchen addition? Um, from the uh, east side, 
where you see the ladder off the deck where the hot tub is we did not plan any windows off of that side just because we're hoping to put our refrigerator and our stove and all of our appliances on that wall that's why we're actually bumping it out we want everything to fit into that section of the kitchen but on the flip side um, we were hoping to be able to uh, cut in a window for sure okay we like windows it, you know it's almost like on the fly I hope that's acceptable to the ARB but you know once we get the that whole kitchen and we order our cabinets we'd love to put a window on that would be the west side of the house okay we even thought about skylights but on, on a shed roof but I think we're gonna pass on those okay yeah, I think we're missing that other side. Ele well, I mean, these aren't elevations, but that we, I don't think we have anything that shows that other side. Maybe it's this. It might be this one that would show it. Yeah, I think. Page Yes, four. correct. And then okay. I believe I have a contrast or I hope. I thought I had it on here, that side of the home. Yeah, it's actually page. Oh, God, I'm so sorry about this. Uh, page seven. seven shows the you're facing the actual east it's a it's three pictures looks like this yes. one yes that is right that's the elevation I was looking for a window on correct and we are hoping to put a window there if you want us to put a window there we will we were just worried about the, how the cabinets were going to fit in, especially the upper cabinets that we wanted to stick there so okay if you think a window would be appropriate there we certainly could do that make it happen we love light and windows so if there's any way possible right, because you can't plant on that side being that it's on your deck pardon me you can't plant on that side so either you would probably want to dress up the material on that side so it's not just a vinyl sided wall yes you know get some nice trim work I mean I don't want to say it's not a Tudor house but that's where on a house they would do you know nice trim work <clears> and really make the wall look dressy out of the materials rather than putting a window in that's an option okay. if you don't want a window but find a way to dress up that elevation because you can't plant against that the other side you could plant next to I mean we don't like to rely on plants because they die or people take them down or they don't put them in but um, at least you would have the option on the other side of planting and the other side again I mean I don't know how much you wanted us to be detailed that the deck is we have plan on putting the deck completely around that area and then you know actually walking into the house from that side because we do have the hot tub there and in the winter we want to get right into the into the bathroom I don't know if you wanted us oh, to I don't yeah I don't know where that what that part is the hot tub is where oh well the hot tub now is right behind the house it will have to go our plan is roughly to put it behind the bump out on the kitchen and hopefully build like a the deck around the the bump out and perhaps put a door where that window is instead of just the, beyond your window beyond the bay window you would put it right in front of the bay window well a little further back yeah not under it or anything that's where it that's is where it sits right now so we're moving everything out 10 feet it's sunken top. that's why I can't yes. see it yes correct yes. okay yes I see I, I can see the cover now okay um all right so that i was just looking at the the kitchen addition because i think that that one's the more simple addition oddly yes um, the garage addition with the f funny roofs i don't know about that i like the idea of the garage addition i feel like we need the roofs need to be fixed okay how how you're doing the roof shape well on page two that's what we uh, envisioned yeah there's a you if you drive up and down 91 just north of Meadowood when you get into Solon on the left there is a garage where they have the normal garage and then they have the funny short flat garage next to it have you seen this I uh, stick out to everybody times, else yeah. every time I drive by I look at that and think that roof is wrong okay. you know what else could they have done I know they wanted to save the window above it maybe they needed to um, do a regular gabled roof and extend an addition up the you know up yeah. above the garage or something I know I know guys on that board too. <laughs> you do you know which house I'm talking about they definitely do. yeah it's day one I said that you said, and, yeah and, and listen I appreciate your work I really do and if you think that's not gonna look good we're all about it because we definitely want it to look appropriate and I mean I guess it, I could take it right to the top if you think that would be better and what are you thinking there? I mean, 
Then we have to shrink that window, which is we'd have to probably into, put into like bedroom. casement windows or you know different windows in the bedrooms there because that is the problem is those two windows there. And I'm looking at what other options. Because it's, it has a gable next to it. If it was coming off of a flat wall, I would say make it a flat roof, put the little fence around the top of it. You know, they look Oh, cute. put a little, yeah, like you know in California, I mean? yeah. Right, but yeah. And you could even have a, a door out on to one of those windows becomes a <laughs> Funny, door. Our, and our, our decorator thought about that. We fired her about eight months ago. Oh, <laughs> so all I'm right, so walk, bad idea. Not walking on top of my porch. Or well, my that's what our, neighbor, our neighbors would think we're, you know, we're I'm not even that. saying you'd ever walk on right, it. Right, it's, right. it's a style right, of right, an right. addition. You'll see them on the sides of houses here, even in the downtown area, where yeah. they have, it's a porch on one side and a sunroom on the other, and they put the little fence across the top and they put a flat roof on because they couldn't angle up without losing their windows Listen, we could do that I mean if, if that's what you prefer as, as a board, <laughs> I'm I mean, trying to come up with what, no, I, I'm not trying to be your designer I don't like it. I'll be honest <laughs> with but I just you. know that this looks wrong I don't like it either uh, it was just like we wanted to extend that garage right. you know and the way if you look at the actual pictures of the house I don't know whatever do you know what your side side yard setback is I'm sorry do you know how far you are off your side property line um, probably about five feet, maybe be between the. Okay, because I think it, you need a ten foot setback, and if you did a side addition on the garage, yeah, I don't instead think of we the have back, that. I don't know if you have enough room to the property. That'd line. be okay. nice, and we know. Because that would be a simple, easy one. And someone came through a couple years ago. They said it was eight thousand total to do it. You know, that's How not eighty thousand. Eight. eight. Oh, okay. It's eight. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> I mean, you you know, a shed is two or so. I mean, this is more than that, obviously, but without yeah putting sheds across the backyards is this a Wagler home yes how'd you know no Ryan I'm sorry it's Ryan 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 yes I didn't know they built Meadowood at all but I um, thought it was Ryan it was it was there Meadowood. an addition on here before pardon me was there a no no you had a built oh no no, no. no, no. Uh, I thought it was Ryan it, w it wouldn't have been Ryan in Meadowood Okay, and we're trail, which supposedly we're, we were the last. I was wondering if it was a Wagler home because they had some features that might have been, but they put more wraps on than anything, so. Well, I'm surprised about the uh, exterior walls. I mean, they use that fiber stuff that yeah. doesn't seem um. like it would support a home very well. Do you have a lot of oak in the house? Pardon me? Do you have a lot of oak woodwork in the house? Yeah. Oak floors? Yes. That's probably Wagler. All oak trim. Yeah, it sounds like Wagler. I'm trying to picture how this can work better for you. I know. I don't want to drag this on too long. I know we can't approve it with these drawings tonight, but I don't want you to have to come back week after week <laughs> us telling you new things to do. So I'm trying to give you as much information as we can now so that hopefully the next time it comes through, it'll be there. Um, um, you're, you don't have a contractor, right? Do not. You're going to do it. And then um, you didn't have like an architect do the print though, right? Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, I don't mind hiring one if you think that if he'd come up with better uh, the ideas. The building department has guys that are pretty reasonable at doing some of this I work. mean, this is close. You just need yeah. to do the elevations um, and get your window sizes and your trim so that it looks, you know, like a real picture of the side of a house. And the, the, you can get um, examples online if you just look up house elevations or yeah. any of those sets that come through with Pulte or Koblenz or Ryan or they all have elevations. You can look at any of those type of sets okay. and you'll see what what those look like. <clears throat> but the roof on the garage is what's bothering me. Yeah. Do you feel that way too? Oh yeah. How do you fix that? Uh, I'd have to be on the property to look at it. Um, yeah. I'm not sure why it has to be that way. I don't know. No, I don't think that would work We're either. Trying yeah. to get around the window, I guess. Right. Those windows are in the bedrooms, right? Correct. The side, yeah. Again, I mean, if you guys think that it would work, I mean, I don't even know how that would look if I took it all the way up to the peak and brought it down because that wouldn't be symmetrical either, but I mean, that could be done and then I could put like upper casement windows. I said it, that was already existing. Usually when you build something new, you get around having to settle. 
come in and play when they were already had an addition or something. Yeah. Just new, you know. Yeah. We designed it that way, they're really new. Having a saddle. So I'm wondering if it was uh who built it? He said, Sometimes I know what the inside looks like better. He said that saddle's already existing in that house. Uh, are you talking about the Here. quarter? Well, the. Is that a saddle? The, no, it's a, that's just a section of the existing roof that um, no, they removed to bring the, the new roof. The new roof would actually come along that line. Okay, yeah. You know, and it would just right. be this one this plane all the tree, way down, okay. and this whole thing would be gone. All right. Yeah, if you look at the photo, you'll see that, uh, that's what I'm missing. I a little. There, there's a picture in there that shows the existing house with the little section of roof at the back. See that, right? Yeah. See, it's that piece of roof. Right okay. There. Right. Right. Okay. And then they're extending this out to here, so they've got to bring the roof line down. Take it down there. Right yeah. There. I don't know what kind of idea. Yeah, I mean, that pretty so, John, fun. as as you see it, you see it as just one big flat, minimally sloping roof off the back of the garage, correct? Because that one piece is coming I'm out. I'm still fighting with that. I mean, I was just looking at the option of what if you took off this small angled roof and you were to re-roof that piece with this. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's coming out. And then I was thinking, well, it would be nice if you were to if you were to do a flat type of roof on this, you would start about where that window corner is, but you'd be cutting through those garage trusses. And I'm thinking about that going, how does that framing work without you completely reframing the entire garage roof? Is that possible? Because that would make a a nice square over there and it looks purposeful then. But you, you realize that is coming out, that piece right there. Right. Yes, the, at least the roof piece. Right, and then I saw you had a different, you had a saddle put on. You took that roof off, you built straight across, and then you saddled just that, for. That's coming out. I you're going to take that off? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it just. You would want to cut into this. I yeah, know I'm thinking about how would you make it so it looks purposeful. You would be. You'd be cutting into this, and then you'd probably be about taking that height around with some sort of rail, or it could be siding rail, it could be railing rail, it could be just something like that that brings it around, that gives it that look, but it's not an actual walkable. Like roof. Like what it would. It has that that low pitch color. roof. I mean, to me, that feels more purposeful, more you know, meant to be. The the long stretch like this, it just it's going to look tacked on. It's always going to look funky. You know, brings that down so when this starts, it's yeah. here, which is Right. No, and I understand that. I have a neighbor who did that with a fence and an awning. No. Actually, it doesn't look absolutely terrible. He did a decent job on it. It looks like he built on like a pergola awning and then he fenced it. And he has a riding lawnmower under there. <laughs> You'd never know it. But, um, Oh, we'll see. Like, yeah, in the image, he's got the windows are further apart than. Yeah. Okay. I don't know yeah. Or if it is just really a flat piece that goes into that corner. Yeah, looks good. And if it's. Oh, yeah. no, that's what we're. Yeah, and even if. It might even be flat. just that. I don't want to drag this on any longer. I think we need to end the case uh, for I tonight. Agree. Yes. I agree. But um. Was, yeah, it might even be just be a flat piece that fits in underneath that, and you'd have to work on the detailing of it so that it looks like it's meant to be and it's purposeful and it's. You know, with, okay, with what I think so, I could do okay. is commit so, to hiring an architect and having somebody look at it. So that's okay with that. everyone. I see what you're yeah. saying. What yeah, the yeah. Your roof, you'd have a yeah. Yeah. way, way yeah. under yeah. a 3 by 12. You won't regret so. it, I'm sure, on that. I see, right. I see what you're saying. Right. Yeah. So, and I don't know, we could even maybe scrap the whole get, idea and just do the that kitchen. Would, that would get rid of this. Well, think it through. You know, you could do anything, honestly. All right, so I'm going to make a motion to table the case for tonight. You know, to really okay. 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 Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. I'll second that motion. Okay. Do you need this? What was the motion? Table. Table. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll second that. Uh, second was John, right? Um, yeah. Uh, sure. Second is John. <laughs> Mrs. Yeah, Frazier? Yeah. Yes. Mr. Markovitz? Uh, yes. Mr. Mitlick? Yes. Mr. Sharma? Yes. Mr. Spice? Yes.
right. Thank you. Thank you. So close. <laughs> what I would suggest is that they make a model of this house. Yeah. We should just turn this back in for next week. Yeah. Yeah, with that little. So stamp. So I don't know. Do you have a stamp or? It's got <laughs> so many like things going on. Well, if we, we stamp it, work. if we table it, yeah. Yeah, I don't think and they'll so. They'll figure it out uh, when they get. I think we did. Halfway through we used framing. Sometimes I don't know. It's been what's what's well, approve, not approve. So, read it. All right. Read it. Uh, redesign it. Resubmit. Resubmit. So. You guys have two sets down there. Yeah, they do. Okay. I'll give you so in a minute here, we're moving on to the second case, 9936 Parkland Drive. Mm. We'll be just a moment. There's a clear spot, you know? Yeah. I didn't have time to do my own work, you know? Right. I guess I am. Oh, you already put all the stuff in. Sure. And this is a redesign. Right? Yeah. Time to trade you guys. easier going around. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't quite want to fit under there too. Is there any of these over to Jen or these? I'm yeah. not sure. I kind of suspect it. Sorry. Is there another copy, copy for her? No. Uh, the last one. I think I guess that's an extra. Okay. We good. Okay. Okay. Nice pictures. So what are we doing here? Deck. Zebra on deck. Edition. Classic deck. Gazebo. Overbuild gable coming off the back of the garage. Yeah, I might try, try by that. And leave, leave three feet over so that there's room for it to, to drip off where that window is. Yeah. Like they're the, gone. Yeah. <laughs> they're gone. You figured they're it gone. out. They're gone. I know what it is. It's it's an overbuild gable coming off the back with a three foot gap where the window goes on the side. So, good shut with the, with the solution there. Yeah. Oh, it's an easy way out. Want me to hang on to these? Yeah. Yeah. Hang on to them. One set. Mm. Okay. 9936 Parkland Drive. Everybody should have a copy, yes? Yes. Yeah, we're looking good. Uh, obviously, I'm not Brent Harris that was coming tonight. Our salesperson, he had to, uh, had an emergency, so. Okay. I'm filling in for the office staff. <laughs> okay. So you're not the homeowner. So no I tough questions. Here. I brought him with me just in case you have any questions. Okay. I asked him to come. Good. So this is detached from the house. Okay. C correct. Mm -hmm. And um, this picture here showing it the way it's supposed to look. Mm -hmm. Same trim work on the columns and everything. Correct. That's why we sent the picture. That's the exact same and there. And good. then I also believe it had all the colors of the flooring, the railings, yeah. everything in your packet. Yeah. Just wondering if you look up, is the ceiling finished too? or? Uh, I is believe it? so. Yeah. That's nice to see. Mm -hmm. And it's screened in? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
I'm sorry if you already said this. Is it on the existing deck or are you building a new deck? It's a, a new, new deck. deck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there a deck, but I'm going to know there's no deck. And the decking that goes between the house and the gazebo is new also? So it's all new? Okay. It looks like it steps up, doesn't it? There's no deck. Okay. Just make it sure. On the drawing, yes. Yeah, it looks like a patio. Sure, come on up. You can come on up. It's going to look like this and it steps up on the inside. the rest of the picture. Is there an existing patio? Oh, here it is. Way? I couldn't even. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There's a patio, right? Yeah, yeah. Like there's a patio. So you should have your old picture. Okay. should be right here. It's got matching shingles. And there you go. Do you need a copy of that? Yep. I don't know. Do you want a picture of what it looks like now? Um, we, ha we have. Yeah. yeah, we have yes, those. Yes, you have those? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then the roofing shingles are to match the existing house. Yes. The trim color is white to match the, or is it? No, the trim color will be clay. 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 And that's what your house has? Yes. Okay. That'll be good. And then? Yeah, we got two. The, deck the decking is to protect rustic elm, and then the, right here it says the railing in the gazebo is adobe clay vinyl. So you'll see that, that it matches that. Okay, so it's all vinyl wrapped. Yes. Yeah. And do you have a handrail from your steps going down? Okay. There's one in the design, yes. Okay. Yes. In the, on the print, you should be able to see that. Yeah. I could see, yeah, it looked like there was a post there for one, but I wasn't sure if that was just your foundation. Yeah, the so. posts look nice, too. Yeah, yeah. Details and character on them. Okay, I think it's good. I'll move to approve it as submitted. I'll, I'll second. second. You want it? Yeah. <laughs> You've got the drawings, and it's yeah, yeah and it's good. logical, and yeah. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pretty. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Mrs. Uh, Fraser. Like the last yes. Case, yes. Mr. Markovitz. <laughs> yes. Mr. Midlick. Yes. Mr. Sharma. Yes. Mr. Spice. Yes. Thank you very much. That's it. Yeah, you're building all good. department Thank will come. Okay. you this week. Building tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, they they're gonna wait till they get the permit. Okay. Need the permits from yeah. Thank you very much. You no problem. A lot Next up is for the goes back to Keith for review, or Keith or Dan for review, and then they'll work on the the invoice and then the permit from there. Okay. Great. Okay. I might try to buy that house and look at it. You know, I'm thinking now, what if they did a, I may take one of these with me. Try it. Positive, so. um, I'll try to see it before then. That'll come up like that. I'm going to excuse myself. Okay. I have to leave, I'm sorry. i got mm -hmm. some important work to do yet. It's not a while. <laughs> no, it's not like a soul. <laughs> <laughs> leave, leave. You guys take care. All right. You too. Yeah. So we'll draw this time. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> so we're Pretty five, happy. you know. Mm -hmm. You don't have a resolution with four, you can't. Um, yeah. So we either have to mm -hmm. excuse one more person. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it won't come It usually does. It's very yeah. Yeah, you, The one time you weren't here, we got in a predicament. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was a... This time. That's, that was it, weird. Uh, there's and, a and, way. and it still haunts me, that one. Yeah. Uh, you know, we used to do these on Zoom. I wonder if you're out of town, because I could have, you yeah. know, I was, I will, I will either it. sitting in the hospital or sitting in my mother's house. I could have gotten on Zoom and still sort of attended the meeting. But I um, think we're setting so up. I'll pass that, that one, too. Uh, oh. Jeff, you need the. Uh, this extra copy. Are these the signed ones? Yes. No. Okay, I want to make sure. Here's an extra copy. I don't know if you need it. Okay. What we do with those. Yeah, I'll put it in here too. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's the other piece. I hope not. That's, yeah, that's not that one. Okay. That's mm -hmm. that's the I don't. Do you have a grill? I'm planning on it. <laughs> get out of the time. I want to take that with me. Last time it was late. I've been able to get, I guess, get the plans back. Because I was just looking at that one. I think they need to.
do a, an overbuild yeah. this way yeah. that goes on to it. And so then they'll come back one more here. time. And then there'll be a big gap. Yeah, well, the first time they came, they didn't have a case. Okay. So, so how that works. We asked them to put on elevations. That's probably what I would and do. And they did it. This time, either they didn't bring the elevation. They brought the three dimensions, but not the elevations. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So, but that's how I would solve this side. Yeah, I mean, with the, the way that yeah, it is, you saw the picture, like mm -hmm. the pitch upon the pitch, that just looks like you know, it's something you see in the business coming back here. <laughs> so <laughs> close to those windows. Yeah. We're cleaning the hand with those. Yeah, yeah. So, because we have a little bit better design, there's a little bit more time behind it. Right. And, so, and yeah, in the winter time, we used to get well, water to ice, get really it like up under, and it would drip down inside. It's the wall. good because we have stains. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, the pain. Did we put that down here? Ready? You know, okay, you know, put them in here so we don't lose them. Nice, so we can make it. Yeah, it's gonna help everybody. You know. I know. I know. So true. When the time comes, you know. Okay. Sell the house that you live in. All right. Next case is three zero or sorry nine zero three six Church Street. That's working. Two large sets of you two want one down there. Okay. Sorry. Maybe you ought to take that. Put it right here. In a small copy, if somebody wants to look that. What is that? In a small copy? Those are convenient. Here, I'll yeah. the Daisy, well, we're probably That's just one. it. Otherwise, you gotta. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, it's scribble. Hinton City Blueprint. Garage and Law. Thank you. So let's see where it goes. So where are we? Trying to figure out real quick to put their add on the home edition. Do you want to see? Share I'm not sure what can I move this? this yeah. thing here. Well, we'll flip it. I'm sure it will say something. Put the drawing here. Let's see, two. Let's see. 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 Let's see.
On the second floor, it does not have an internal connection to the existing. That's correct. Home. So it functions separately. Correct. Well, it's connected, but it doesn't. Physically, it's connected, but you, but there's no passage between right. the two. Okay. Right. And, and um, the drive space really is the little shed garage that's there now, which would be demolished. Yeah. So it's the same driveway. So the driveway is there. The driveway is there. And there's a one car shed garage probably from the 40s or something. Yeah. Which is going to be. Yeah, I have no issue with that garage coming off and with the <laughs> idea of something like this. I'm going to end up looking at the proportion of this, the, the shape of the building. Right. Yeah, we, we that tried was my to. first thought as soon as I saw the rendering, but I'm, I'm still working my way through here. Mm -hmm. um, and then just and then the setback, you know, how close it is to the street for the size of the building is probably the other thing that. Right, it all it, uh, meets all of the standards. Yeah, so all the parameters of ours should be the, um, uh, for example, 35 feet back from the center of the road. Or, uh, you know, basically, the plans here, after many, many hours of even doing a cardboard mock-up of the whole situation, oh, did you? this is about, well, I don't have that at home, but right, right. yeah, I spent countless hours trying to figure out how we can do this so that we would still have a 24-foot, at least, turnaround driveway. In the back. And the still, back. yeah, in the back, and still um, not uh, move into the easement that the city owns on the uh, west side for a sewer line. And there was all kind of factors involved that uh, can only allow the project to move ahead if it's with this design. Because as soon as we started changing one thing, it affected another and it no longer fit. And, yeah, and, that, and to that's back up and try to explain every last thing, well. Well, that's why we're here. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, I, the, I like the idea of this. I'm just looking. Yeah, I'm still working my way through the set. Yeah, go ahead. So give me a few minutes here to see. I, I, and there's I, no windows, I noticed, on the left elevation. But maybe I haven't gotten to the elevations. On the I'm, west? No. Yeah. There's no windows. And we usually try to have windows on all elevations well, of a house. We could put one there, but you know, we have a, there's a 12 foot, the city has a 12 foot easement on our property. No so we couldn't build it any closer to the west side. Okay. And um, there's no point to a window there. It's all shrubberies and you know, everything now anyway. Okay. This has a small third story loft. Yes. That's what I'm saying it as, okay. And the loft has a window. And and if you find the elevation there on the front, I haven't. I don't think the, I've got the line. Line. property goes downhill. I don't know if they raised 82 or they just dug out the property, but it it's a very steep drive now, and so this takes advantage of that by you know basically parking on that level the way we do now, the way the garage is now keeping that for the garage space. I mean, the whole thing is like down from the sidewalk, this from the street level. And it doesn't, it isn't any closer to 82. I mean, it's behind our neighbor's property. You know what I mean? It's not so forward. I feel like the windows are the wrong proportion for the house. Made every attempt to keep the roof pitches in line with the century home and, and the window variety, because there's a variety in the, in the current home. Um, the house is from 1890, so putting an addition on it, you know, we want to respect that 1890 and have it look like it, you know, suits it. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The loft 
has a ladder up to it. Yes. Okay. Metal. Uh, nobody's going to be sleeping up there, right? No, more like a reading nook or whatever. Excuse me, are your mics on? Because I'm a little hard of hearing and I might. Hearing aids are out. What's the square footage of the square new footage? Square footage. Oh, the square footage is about 750 or so. I think it's on the first page there, isn't it? I don't have it. It might have been. It might have been written down there. It's the, it's the These are the schedules. Seven seventy. Or maybe seven fifty. Seven sixteen. Seven sixteen total. It's a 24 by 24 garage, and the portico is like 10 by 14. Street is the church at which one is across street? 82. 82. Mm -hmm. This is it's on the corner. City corner from So it's Kings. on the corner? Pardon? The house is on the corner? Right. It, it is. That's the why the drive is on is 82 it? and the address it's, is on church. But this is the corner house. Um it's the tea house on, the, on yeah. the square. So oh, you're right next to Mary over there with her. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we take our dog. Together. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she does great. It's She's downtown, right? Yeah, yeah. two doors down yeah, from the church. Nice. It's um, where the Giant Eagle Plaza yep. exits out. It's the house that's across the street on the left mm -hmm. corner. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. So I'll go ahead and tell you what, what I think, right? Yeah. Um, I like the idea of doing this type of addition. I like the idea of the tunnel through. I think it works really well with the slopes that you have with getting um, a driveway parking in the back. If you had extra people parking, they're not parked out at the street. They're parked around the back of your house. I think that works really well. I think it's great to have a live work condition or a mixed use building. Um, I think that works really well with the downtown redevelopment that we're trying to do. Right. Um, it's great. The zoning allows that and it's like perfect for what we're trying to do. Right. I think that that's really good. Um, my two concerns, one is how close it sits to the street um, based on the massing of this um, in that when you're coming up Aurora Road, this will block the view of the, um, the main body of the house. You'll see this first. Trevor, which if direction on Aurora Road? Yes. East. Yeah. If you're going. If you're east. eastbound, heading toward the square. Yes. Right. 
and Box what? the massing you wouldn't of see it. The house. I know you say that the house next door extends forward um, as far as this or further, but I'm curious if that's just the porch because a porch has an open feel to it versus this is going to be an enclosed two-story massing. So this will feel... Well, it's a mixed neighborhood, that's for sure. I mean, right. it, 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 you know, we're not trying to emulate the house next door, we're trying to make it fit with fit with this, this house. house. So that's my second comment. Is the first thing I saw as soon as I saw it, this pop right up. This would be my first impression if I drove by it and I saw it, you know, in real life. Is that this is not the right um, massing fenestration, the windows, and um, it, it doesn't work with what the house, what the original architects would have done with the house. Um, and that that is a simple fix right there. If if um, you mean the window size, or you mean the what the you spacing mean? and the clustering. Oh. So on the existing house, um, what they I would do something similar to what's done on the front here, where they took what could have been one big gable with two windows popped in it, and they broke it down into a smaller, more vertical element, and they clustered the windows in the center of it. So it's sort of like a double peak there. Yes, and then over here, they centered that window over here. Right. So here, it just looks like, you know, we had a very simple rectangle and we popped two windows on it. Where I think that if you broke the, the gables down and did something that make it, made it more vertical and centered, I think that that would give it more of the character of the original house. To me, these are not the same proportion. Are you talking about building out maybe a couple feet, just like the front of the houses? Or pushing? I wouldn't. I don't think I'd go any further forward. I mean, I'm already maybe worried it's like too far. Finishing it that way. Yeah, I mean, like it looks like it has a, an 18-inch or two-foot difference in. Do um, you see how that drops back or pulls out? Right. Something like that over here, where you'd either push back in or you'd pull out that extra little bit to redo the face of this, so that it gives it a more vertical feel rather than a horizontal with two windows on it. It's, see this, um, the feeling that you get structurally is that you have two tall vertical elements and you have glass in the middle on the first, second, and third floor. Here you don't get that feel. You feel like it's broken, it's cut off halfway across. This window is above solid. These windows here, you know, it, it's a different feel and it's not the same character as the house. It might be the same materials, but I feel that this, and if this was going on a cul-de-sac in the back somewhere, you know, I wouldn't worry about it so much, but this is a house I feel like you want to get right. You want it to feel like this is, you know, in character with the rest of the house. And that's a simple change. I don't want so, to. Yeah, can the, I? Specifically, you're saying, like the front of the house looks like two different gables. That's what you're suggesting for the front of this new garage. Is that what you're saying? Yes, that would be a simple way. Another way you could do it, I, I don't want to do all the, you know, and say that's the only solution. It's not the only solution. You could talk with your architect about the concern being that this massing is in a very different proportion than the massing of the house. Yeah, well, it's, it's a, a balancing act, I'll tell you that. It is. Sure. No one, I know that. Difficult. And I don't want to over design what they did, but to me, I know that that's something that I feel like should be fixed before you build it. Um, Another option would be is if the center area pulled out a little bit or the sides pushed back and you had a vertical element here in the center. All the way down to the ground? Yeah. Sorry. I mean, would, you like I, to, I, would you like to draw that on here? <laughs> I, can, I, can draw, I can draw it, yes. I don't want to say this is the only solution. I'm not your architect, but I feel like when I look at this that, this, that there is a disconnect here. It's disjointed. It doesn't. So how would you do it if you were to okay. draw it on there? So I'll do two of them. One of them would be, you have this here. I think I know what you're talking about, but it's doing similar to what's on the. Yeah, and the, it probably. Kind of, yeah. Do two skinny windows, maybe even. I really pick up that same language. You can get this kind of feel going on here. That's the Those windows are are the same size as the one that's on the yeah, porch of the old house. So uh, the, uh, those windows are the same size as the uh, main section of the house. Well, there's lots of different sizes there, and the one we chose is the one that's as closest to it. Yeah. Right, but you don't have the same proportion of window and wall. So you basically have one third wall, one third window, one third wall. Here you have about, you know, like. I don't know, three tenths and then one tenth and then three tenths and then what that doesn't add up. But you know what I'm saying? It's right. the proportions right. are different. So it's the same size window, but it looks like they're just popped out. 
sorry, that was drawn out of place. But something like that, or another option. Is this part of this is, yeah. Yeah, you can see uh, the same here. Uh, something that, similar over here. You know, with that one and a half or two. To the ground? Yeah. It, so then it depends on the right of way. Is that going to be a problem? Yes. Can't be in the right of way. Another option. Well, it's yeah. not in the right of way now. No, it's not. That's fucking software. That's what's where it's at. Right. The other thing is, you know, we are pretty limited by that 12 foot easement that the city has on our property for a storm sewer or whatever it is, runoff water. What you found. Yeah. Oh, we knew week? it was there because oh, the grade did? is there. Yeah. We've seen that forever, ever, but yeah. uh, we didn't realize it was 12 feet wide. Yeah. So. <laughs> And, the, and that's also why there's no windows on that side because, you know, our neighbor, she's got very little side yard. Really, we've got the 12 feet and then the shrubs and then her house. So uh, I don't, there was no point in putting a window there. Right. This is a both garage for those and that's a walk window. These are both What's the time frame to build something like this? this is According to Steve, as soon as the lumber comes down. <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're thinking of soon, hopefully. Um, how long it will take? We don't have a, an actual builder under contract or anything yet, but I don't know. A few months, probably. I see what you're saying. But he's looking for builders, so. But we got to get this approved. Right. You know, and, and settled before we start sure really we moving forward. Yeah, forward. that's that's what whether feel like in plan this would be yeah, it is a lot of work. Like that, like that plan. It's pretty much the mm -hmm. entire house. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, what, what, yeah. to reconstruct, yeah. It's a lot. Lines are in the right no, so do you think there's like a um finishing out. way to uh, to replicate but that so. two gable look? Yeah, but yeah, I mean other than well, I mean, I know you could just, just move the foundation and all that, but then that changes your living space so dramatically. But is there some way to trim it so it looks like that? You know what I mean? Like build a yes. panel that looks like a they, gable? They do it. Yeah, that's done, but it, it coming off of a house that's yeah. authentic and then doing the faux on the side. Well, take a look at what's there now. Oh, no, that shed needs, that little garage needs to come off. I totally agree on that. Well, I, this is going to look a lot better. So, it's so what we're going on. I know. Bring you like this Why would you be pushing that back and forward? I don't see Because we're not, you know, replicating. these. trying to make it blend. In the portions of the existing house. Right, it's about the proportions. The 24 by 24 dimension of the garage. Yeah. Yeah. Maximum and minimum amount of. Oh yeah. Uh, fresh start. Yeah, fresh start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The house. Oh, there a couple dimes. Yeah, yeah. they have good so food. Exactly I've been are. there for yeah. uh, so, uh, carry out. And you know, I used to take so, it to the guys like that I used to uh, that worked for I me. I think that would be great if we could figure that out. Yeah. Right, I mean, there's a small amount of, I mean, we're talking two feet. We're not talking a lot of, every two weeks. Uh, you know, difference, but yeah. trying to get that. So it's, yeah. it's, it's a, the house has a very vertical look. Right. Everything's very vertical on it, and so this piece is a square. Days. Do you know oh, what I mean? It is 24 by 24. Well, not in plan, but in, in elevation. I'm and here well, as soon as I looked at it, it's like I mean, that's the garage that was added onto the so house. That's what it looks morning? like. Yes. I and it's so close. Okay. Yeah. To being nice. I mean, it's, yeah, that surface is a you simple know, point. It's, it's, and it, it may, I don't know if they have problem time, you know, with right away pushing out. What do you do? Uh, yeah. They push like back, they're going to lose like square footage here. in the house because I don't think this right. back right. side can go anywhere. And it's so fully designed already. So what, when he was talking about cosmetic, I'm trying to think of what you could do. How you could make that happen. I think you're one of the busiest. One of the busiest. Well, maybe it wouldn't have to be yeah, two feet. Maybe it could be shallower, kind of. You know, instead of like attached to the house, it's maybe like a three foot by three foot. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. You know, I mean, you have to have a two foot double gable or whatever you call that setback that it has. Maybe it could be much, much shallower. See, I'd be happy if it just looked like it, but you wouldn't. Have I mean, to if it was a one foot difference. 
I mean, I don't know. I don't know what your front what your front is. Maybe it is only a one foot difference. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's more like two feet. You think I mean, about two? Yeah. And this one looks like it's like this one's definitely at least two. That might even be two and a half if this is to scale. Any members? Three feet. Three feet. Three feet. Are there any members that are missing? There is that. This is it. This is five members. Okay. Oh, John had to leave early today, so. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to pick up the scale of what The windows on the current house are all over the place from 19 inches to I know there's a community meeting. I'm not about maybe five or six. Plus council. I just like to see If you're talking about the table like pretty much you're not five pounds that way. Yeah, you yeah, you work yeah, yeah. But you kind of squeeze it in with other things that I do. Yeah, like I'm just trying to get a scale city council later. That's a that's a bit of position together is it six feet or five positions. Is this one seen? Yeah. They're like 23. Yeah, I was on the environmental one. And this one, I the environmental one. The ones outside of this is like a. Positions opened up. I have five for both. These are only 19. I position for this one. I have five for the environmental one. These two that we put here are actually the same size as you can't see it here. I love it. Yes. Was, I wanted to do that. Yes, I have a large sash on the bottom. You don't know, like, how are you doing? I mean, <laughs> what I want to do. Well, you know what? Uh, well, I'll tell you what I did. Uh, you know, oh, this we, in front of the house? Um, well, it's on Saturday Earth Day. It's not much. And I think we started celebrating the mailbox. Mailbox barely fits. When I got on the environment, and that's kind of all we're talking about years. And the section of that got the same, but if you came out, yeah, yeah, that's what it's instead of 24 feet, you have 25 and a half. Is that you what you're saying? Kathy Prokop. Because yeah, you, you either pull this out of the right way. I just this moved to closer to the street for about two years ago. Are you okay. Take yeah. this third. Kathy, I said, uh, and push back. What do I have, have to do? So that you get so that you get to get this charter, and I said, what do you? Right. So I'm looking at that. Push that side back. I don't think about it. And I said, if I do right. any ideas, no, I'm looking at this. This is do you really want it? She said, yes. Well, I mean, it's very narrow. Yes. I, mean, I gave her a list of quilts. No, no, I see that. that I'm looking at, I understand. I know. Um, so a car pulls in You're doing like so. this, and then it backs into the garage. Is that how you do that? No. You might have to back up once. Back up once, and then turn in. I think the final section is a lot of things, you know. Okay. And then we ended up with. There's at least a minimum. I think there's 25 people, 24 for sure, which is the minimum. We have There's a chain. You okay. can't, uh, this line can't go back and forth. That's the property line, isn't it? Yeah. For the kids. That's the property right. line here. Right. It's the like library. Right. Okay. Right. So, yeah, we can't move anything over this way. And you can't move that way because that's where the city's got its easement. Easement going on this side here. They're on the same track. Yeah, you go ahead. That's the other thing. Yeah, because I'm just a visitor. Yeah, that's the other thing. You know, if you brought that piece out right there. Right. That's what I was thinking. If it was... It's probably, uh, yeah, like two thirds. Here to the street. If we could come out one foot, I don't know. Because <coughs> you're on 82 right here, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you probably have a right of way there, and the house might be. You know, I well, think I don't we know. Back about of course, the existing house is back here. So existing and this is, is, this is down really. about a half story from the street, isn't well, it? That's the basement? Part of the whole thing is that right the now, garage you go down. 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 Yeah. Three feet down, but at least three feet keeping down. Keeping that. I mean, yeah. we're not going to rearrange that. Right. Get rid of that little garage, and that level is the level of parking in the new garage. So the garage is really like this much lower than the sidewalk, yeah. which is why those two windows in that garage are yeah. really the apartment windows. They, I mean, they look like garage windows, but yeah. they're, but they're actually on this yeah, level. Yeah, you can tell something. Yeah. Was going on with the way. Oh yeah, that's this all downhill. Gone. It's like yeah, that's it's all downhill. It doesn't quite come together. To so show exactly what's the way I was you can tell us it's sloping and lower down there. The way I was sketching with the two, the kind of doing that double gable, you'd end up probably the way it had on the existing house was two over one, but you don't have lower level below this. So no, all right. It'd be like if you had two here, 
together, and then this one scooted over. Two together. And then one here, and then you had the, the trimmer. It would be nice if you could break it by a foot. That gives it that, that oh, gives the roof a way to trim. <clears throat> if one foot I mean, moves into the, uh, see, my, I don't know this figure, yeah, but I know that? we're 35 feet from the center of the road. And when I really measure this out any number of times, yeah. uh, I, when I originally planned out, this was within one foot of the right of way. Okay. Okay, and I'm not even sure if it's there at that point now because he measured it for 35 feet from the middle of the road, and I'm not even sure how close we are to the right of way right now, which is 10 feet. And I, I actually didn't want to go any further. Oh, I know. My first thought was pushing back. Mary's house. That's yeah. kind of crazy. Right. You know, reach out, touch the traffic. No. We no. Can't, can't, right. Yeah, yeah. Where is Mary's house at the same line from the street? Is that, you know, how, or is it pulled up? No, hers is you're pretty standing. Close to the street too. Oh, she's very close. She's closer to the street than this is. Than this is. Okay. Yeah, maybe two feet. Something. I know we're. It's behind. the porch. The the porch sits closer. The porch. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then the I mean the face yeah. of the house is still close too. Right. But the porch. It, it doesn't have yeah, probably one of those deep foot porch porches. Too. It's a deep porch. Yeah, the porch is further out. Right. Yeah. So the biggest um, point is that you think making it like this with the two. Gable look in the front. If we can get, because it gives it the verticality of the right. rest of the house. I, that's true, it would. And offhand, you don't know the way to get that look without actually changing the foundation and everything. No, you I mean, can like, I trim mean, it that way. Or you can trim it, it that way. Yeah. You can trim it that way. If you could do that, the one foot or 18 inches or two feet type of jog, it's going to look more authentic. Well, if it's possible, <laughs> I would go. I mean, this is a you know a century type home. I don't know if it's exactly a century home, but if it's, oh, is it's it, a it's a ninety days, days. right? <laughs> it's a, you're right. It is a century home. I'm trying to keep because this is very nice. I like this idea. I think it's great. And I think it's just so close to where it needs to be. It's probably one of the original homes and yeah. And it's one of the original homes. Yeah, I'm going to engineer. So Jim, are you saying that, for example? Amy shortly. And then if we can get a window or something on this side, something did dress up the one side. Think really seriously about that because then, I mean, what about, um, we thought seriously to not put a window there because uh, you got Mary right there. Do She's we have an elevation? And, and then what's the point of that? Let me see, where's the rear elevation? Yeah, Sometimes well, people do a stone feature or something, something that mess, makes it so it's not just a wall of vinyl. So I just to uh, me that's he normally doesn't come. There. He normally doesn't come. Yeah. No, and no one is actually ever gonna see that side of the house. <laughs> oh you're definitely gonna see that side as you drive up. No, there's yeah. there's her poor Cynthia bushes. There's, yeah, she's got some. I'm just Until the bush dies. What's going on? <laughs> I feel like something should happen on this. It doesn't have to be a window. I have not. But something. I mean, if this was. A a or what no, if you put I'm just a, a false window? Well, talk about. I mean, I think that. Well, I don't know. I know those are kind of silly. Shutters. This isn't a shuttered house. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a stone thing. No, I mean, there's no stone like on a, this, is there? You know, in retail work, we always used to do a ton of that. You know, you yes. Above the, the fake windows. And yeah, but that looks and like from the inside, it's just dimension. walled over. Right. Yeah. No, they would have well, done. <clears throat> if you're putting a window in, in that side there, that window is going to go in the, uh, in the actual garage area. Down low? Down low, and or then the you're going to be parts? putting it under your stairs. Yeah. Or the you stairs. Stair no, it, you'd want something up stair. higher. You want, you can't, can you go up higher? Up stairs. Because this, the, the, the garage is the, here. Here's the upstairs really? living area. Right. So the floor line would be up here somewhere. I'm trying to, where? Yeah, because if this is the first, this is the floor line for the <laughs> low, for the, this level, because that's the balcony off of it. Yeah. So it has to be the floor line. Mm -hmm. well, so then the ceiling would be Well, no, but we no, should, we should straighten small, that out first. These are small changes. These aren't, yeah, yeah these aren't huge. But I'm, what I'm saying, though, is if you're going to put a window in there, it's going to go in the garage. It's going to actually go in the garage. It's and not going to go. That would be way down here, and that's not going to help. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, and it probably. The elevation. 
No, we're we not try not to have any blank elevations. We require it of Ryan Holmes. We require it of Pulte. Everybody who comes through, we don't let them have blank elevations. Blank elevations. No, no windows, no doors is what you No mean. detail, no fun. You could put a chimney up there. I'm not saying you need a chimney. But if there was a chimney up the middle of this, that's not a window. And we would say that it looks good. It's dressy. If there was something on this elevation, if it, if it. You know, you've well, got 10 feet of city home or, you know, he's. Right. And what that window does is, I don't know. I mean. Well, let's ask the structural size. problem here. This is a blank a elevation functional that problem. protrudes forward further than the rest of your house. Do you know? So when you're coming up the road, you will see that this elevation. That window's going in the garage. But the garage is down here. It would be up here. It wouldn't be in the garage. I bet Mary's yeah. like three well, feet from it, that it line. Would, we required it but of how all the houses. How would that coincide with the stairs well, going up? Uh, conventions, I guess that's what you require. Well, the stairs, how would that coincide with the stairs going up if we put a window? At the top of the stairs, she's saying. That would be over here. That would be the most ideal spot, actually, would be to get it toward the front because that's what you see from the street. Right. You don't see that if you put it back here, it's not going to help a lot. If it was up here, it would. And that would be up here. So it's still well, going to be in the garage, though. Five feet at the top of the stairs, you put a window there. If it was close to right behind this door and it was, you know, two feet off the front here, something that size right there, that could work. It could be in the stairwell. It would just um, need to be a tempered glass window, I believe, if it's in a stairwell. Right here. Just the type of glass. Yeah, we have even noticed that table. Multi <laughs> <laughs> came through with that one saying it's in the stairwell. But that I mean that's another, if it was over here, it would be in your stairwell. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, it, it, having a window in a stairwell is not an unusual concept in a century home. I guess next time. They have windows well, have in their window window stairs. 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 Put some miles on it. <laughs> right. I mean, if you want it for the, the window. In the door? Well, like this door, you have a window? You're talking about the interior door? No. No, no, no I'm talking about that. The one on the garage floor? No, the garage floor. This you one has a That would be great because I don't have to water my So door. in the garage, you've got a window. Open. Because so I can't have dinner. Either stairs. Yeah, up that's where you're cooking out. Upstairs right here. I'm doing something, but I guess uh, I have to find maybe my way yeah. around somewhere else. That would probably oh, be really? interesting. It'd be, on, it'd be on the second story. So what you're cooking again? Just two chicken and stuff. Mm -hmm. Nothing too big. Yeah. Ah, I think I need one more. I agree. I mean, that's that's a great idea as long as we're not look out for them thinking we have leftovers and uh, so cheap bag. I'd like to look at leftovers today. So I'm thinking, yeah, try that out. Other option, I think that's going to work best for your interior layout. Mm -hmm. Other other the option I said to him was if you had a proportion like this one here, and you brought that over here, that would be centered, and then you'd have two pieces. But I think because of what's going on here, where it's the gable off to the left side, over here you've got the gable off to the right. Well, you know, I think that that's being balanced. There's nothing wrong with lopsidedness in this era. So let it be. I know. I know the only thing that's yeah. going right. You've got this one has the gable off, problem. gable off to the right. Ooh, this one has gable off to the left. You know, you could go either way. I think your interior makes sense to make it off to the right. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, if we say that, you mean the smaller one? Yeah, yeah, closer. Yeah, yeah, closer to the driveway. Right. You know what? I think that that makes more sense based on your living room and your stairs and your. I think that makes more sense. Yeah, and then your window would end up being about here. You got one on the side here. It's 297. So, uh, and, yeah, so I filled it up. You mean at the top okay. of the stairs? In, 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 you're like, like, yep, so your stairs, you come in down low right. here, you come up the steps, and you go through there, the door, and if you have yeah, a window yeah, right there. Right there, so they're low, like they're the low. You're right, because my sign goes to the my door side. Itself. Yes. I go to the closed circuit. Let me ask if you this. Door was open, I I think it was if, if it's possible so to bring out that, a gable on that end 
starts getting let's say one foot or another 18 inches or whatever it might be without moving into the right away I'm at the gas station. Uh, I, 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 that's a great idea. I love it. I want to but pay if, it's, if it's going, if we're at the right of way right now, that 10 foot, and it can't be moved into the right of way, then we bring back plans that say, you know, with the people putting out 18 inches, then, and then all of a sudden you find them the right of way. Then we have to go cosmetic. Would you, would you look at that? I know my car gives out this much average. Yeah. I mean, because I mean, with the cosmetic thing, we're talking yeah. about like. See me, it's like, like yeah. I don't know what. Like, Trimble. Like right I can't. Or box I can't. Out like the beat. Well, yeah. like aluminum. Yeah. So it looks like. She's like you. Yeah. Visually, it would look like cable. Yeah. No. And then, right, and it may have that little piece of the roof the on the top of it. You know, it'd only be this, you know, much because it's uh, just your overhang again. The overhang that you had at the top, you just duplicate it down lower. Turn the corners. Yeah. So then um, the um, yeah. So a window okay. probably here. We have we have builders do that frequently. Yeah, they end up with a window in front maybe. of their closet door because they say if we put a window on that side, we can't put furniture. We can't put a bed. We can't put a dresser. So then we say put it behind the door because you're never going to put a piece of furniture behind that door anyway. That door opens. You can't put furniture there. So we that's we tell them that all the time. So I know it might bother you a little bit the idea of a window behind the door. Does. <laughs> but, but do you think that they're really going like to prop that door? Do you think they're going to leave that door propped open? No, I don't think so. She's but saying, I think that she the door's not small hitting the window. A whole bunch of windows. No, she but went. I think she went. Right. She was out of town. Yeah. yeah. The window there and uh, was here. The she came back. These century oh, homes they, had windows on all sides because it was cold. It used to be cold. If you look at the north side house, the second story, there's one window on like 24. And then and she's leaving. Is, so. Okay. And that's what they did. So this is her last. And, and but that's fine. So we'll have one window on twenty four feet. I wouldn't yeah. mind. Have to go with it. I wonder what it would be like if you had the the matching books. mirror one over yes. here. You don't want to interrupt the clothing yes. rack. Yes. If you have that's a whole petition. So you don't put a window in a closet. I've got a window in my closet. That means Why? you pay. Why? Because I don't have to turn the light on. I can see the colors of all the clothes. Your, so your, closet. your closet's going to be as big as that whole garage. <laughs> so no, it's not. Matched. It's not. They my house is 1,800 square feet. It's not a. It's not a mansion. Well, but I'm, I'm just saying that that's right. another. Yeah, so. Right. No. Right. No. This is get at least seven. Right. If it worked for the outside, it's not. Them, and then you just put blinds in it if you don't want the light in the closet. Yeah, I've heard that argument before, room. too. We've had them come through yeah. with closet windows. Are you looking People for proportionality here? We're by, trying to, that's I mean, what right, you're doing? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I, we like the one up the front. That's the most yeah. important. But if we look at it, I don't know. I haven't seen the elevation just completed. And I'm sorry this sounds like a lot, but this is a very um, prominent location in town. And if it's really close to being right, you know, or being, well, look, I think it's, it's about it's the time to do five. It is. So, you know. Thank you for doing this. You're a good citizen. We feel like it's a contribution. You are. You're very good. And I don't want to sound like I'm trying to pick it apart, but because I'm telling you, you're doing a great job. I think your architect did a really nice job with planning this so that you. Yes. Well, on AR. you pick stuff apart. That's our job. Right there. That's the art. Part. That right. has nothing yeah. to do with the structure. That, that, that's the yeah. art part. And I would just, you were, you normally I would also say these windows are in odd proportion compared with the rest. But I, you I see you've got one here too. Committee. So, yeah. it looks fine. Unless and that's the back side. Are that, you on the back? Yeah, that's the back. There? That's the back. Or I'm not going to put this. Right. And see, one window. Meeting. Yep, one window over the two. Yeah, but know. there's three windows on the elevation. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hopefully they planted a tree concerned? that canopies right there. Council? But you well, don't know how it's No, we'll be back in a year. Four years. They're yes. with, a, with a veranda of <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Are we Thank good? Thank you for some time. Thank you. How's your wife doing, Doc? Yeah, it's going to take us a while. Yeah. You know, it might take a week or two. We don't meet for three weeks, so if you're back, if you submit in two weeks, you'll be on our here. agenda for the first week in August. I think uh, the discussion has like been very helpful. Yeah, yeah. And I, well, I'm going to interject one thing. It was brought up in a, the building it's department that you still need to go through planning. This case has to go through planning. And the because of its location and Because of its location and setbacks. Okay. So they're hey, we, okay we're with we're it. We're very interested in ARB uh, first. 
make with well, Twinsburg, especially the They're okay with ARB looking at it as standard, right but you still have to run this through planning. And then planning. Then planning. 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 Planning's yeah. not meeting is until August, yeah. but it's done through ARB. So we could I plan We can get all you need to get done through ARB. Is that where we at with this thing? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I, I saw like, I'm go in the August. There's an August. No, 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 no. I just know you are so close, and I just feel I, you're like you're putting your artistic eye to it. I agree yeah. with the idea you came up with. I'm just not sure that well, it's going to work if we're in the right way. Right. So yeah. I'm going to have to ask. Yeah. Thanks. I, I like the idea. It's a great idea. That's probably why the I suggest to look at it too to make sure that part of that is not interfering with any way. Beyond the aesthetics of it. You know what? Yes, I'm filling in for another well, council person. person. Okay. So what I do, all my paperwork, uh, uh, I give to her. Oh, okay. So That's if you fine. want, um, no, I that would be great. Yes. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I'm saving this for her. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. So, so this is the tea house that yes. you and you live. Are we done? Yeah, you no, no. We're, we're, we're doing fine. I would oh, suggest okay. that uh, expand it and architectural uh, review board go to that. But you know, oh, that'd be great. As a group. Today, I and, to talk for the first and time you did? Look at it. I'm not yeah, good. that's a great idea. And yeah. right um, now, what I can take and, and, and I think Jennifer, for they loved it. she never saw this until okay. you know, an hour ago. I've seen, yeah. I know that I'm yeah. familiar yeah. with the property. Yeah. I, I remember, but I haven't right. seen this addition go on. I remember, I, I, I didn't go as often, but you had the best ginger tea. Oh. <laughs> and so yeah. my teeth and, 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 and yeah. Yeah. Right. in that area. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, you'll get a better perspective on it because even this yeah. drawing right here, I think it's skewed in a direction at an angle, not, See, not looking at it face on it. Right. That you're yeah. looking and the, and the angle makes it, it look this, a little more prominent. This looks a heck of a lot bigger than it actually is. This, this is way. actually, I, I'm used no, to seeing these. I work in these models. I'm used to seeing this. I, I'm pretty because, confident how it's um, going to feel when it's built. And I, meeting yeah, I, I think that time. setting, having this connector yeah. back and having the and roof drop down, um, I mean, this is all done right. Mm -hmm. the, they did a good, good job with good. it. The only thing that gets me is how wide and yes. the proportions, everything on here is tall and fit. They're all vertical rectangles. And this is a long we have meeting, you know, we have like a jet and it's meeting. unbroken and up. Like when you walk past this, you know, you've got lots of breaks, you've got That's porches, exactly. you've got yeah. turns, you've got corners, yeah. you've got so bumps, outs, and ends, and then you get it to this, is. and it's a long well, stretch yeah, now. uninterrupted. And we let people know. Because you know, some people can go, oh, my yeah. God. So if that's possible, yeah, that's a simple. Okay. All right. Don't want right. to hang it up too much. Okay. And Thank you. So our motion is to table. I want to suggest that, that we as a group go over and see what we're talking about. Oh, oh, oh. Some, some You're I'd love to have you do that uh, at your convenience because we were I both retired. Yeah. That person doesn't even oh, live We can do that. You guys yeah. have yeah. 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 Oh, well, sure. Yeah. And, and just yeah. Yeah. so they see when I was wandering around the yard, When you get there, there's also go up the ramp and look at the old system. The thing is, because he can't get that information. Okay. Yeah, we're right. The yeah, I am put the, the I am got the porch there. put down on the new porch with the, the new framing up in uh, when I pulled off the old porch. Yeah. Uh, I thought we found a sister in there. Mm -hmm. Really, yeah. really yeah. a historic thing. It was a work. We don't know. Then they, you know, we were in the cab. It was in the paper. Yeah. Maybe you saw it. Yes, yes, we did. Ready for? Are we ready to go? Are we are we dismissed? Yes, yes. They have to. So we need to vote on more cases. All right, so the motion on the table is to table until next ARB. Mrs. Frazier. Yes. Mr. Markovitz. Yes. Mr. Sharma. Yeah, for to redesign and come back. Mr. Spice. Yes. All right. Okay. Case table to next week. Thank you. All right. Good night. Thank you. Good night. It's been a pleasure. So we don't. Everything is nice. We still have another case. Yeah, one more case. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm sorry, this is running really late. Do we uh, stamp this? I said it. Yeah. it rained. I thought we were on our last case. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a long You didn't fall long. asleep back there, did you? We don't usually get two time consuming cases in the same meeting. That's a, that's a rarity. I think we should time the meeting. I hope you're paid hourly. Yeah. <laughs> not our case. I'm not. <laughs> All right. I'm good, though. Okay. You have Wi Fi, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I was doing some work, so I'm, I'm okay. okay.
Okay. All right, field press lane outdoor patio and gazebo. Call it a motion to approve. <laughs> that one's the other place. <laughs> this one's trail wood. Where is field okay. press? Should be the last. It's in the box. Oh, the box is in the chair. It's in the chair. In the box. Okay. okay. Are those the big plans? Oh, we have one small set and then we have big ones? Yep, we have big ones. Yeah. Oh, we got several. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, she's going to need one too. So we can, we can share. Thank you. Do you need another one? Yeah. Thanks. Should, should be five, I think. Right? Yep. Yep. Okay. This is a nice, wait, Before is this a model? After. It is. This is a nice uh, model. Oh, yeah. So uh, in summary, this is, uh, there's an existing deck. Um, so the walkout area is the area that we're focusing on. Um, uh, there's a paver patio that's going to go in, a seat wall, uh, outdoor kitchen. We are going to alter some of the windows on the rear elevation. Um, where there's a patio door coming from the walkout, we're going to add a couple uh, large fixed casements. And then also uh, there's a, a dining area. Um, on, on, when you're looking at that view on the right side there where there's the four double hungs we're gonna there's only there's one one lonely lonely double hung that down there in the walkout area so we're gonna add a couple on each side um, okay gazebos there it just looks a little more balanced single so there's an existing sliding door and then the far left window is there you're adding two windows next to the sliding doors yeah one on each or side one on each side mm -hmm. Just to bring more natural light, you know, because yeah. the deck cover, get more natural light to the basement. Um, and then the other window alteration is below where the dining room is. Is the existing going to be single tier or double tier? Because there's. In all the images, it looks like it's a, a single top roof, but then on uh, page two, I'm, it says a, I think there's a, uh, it has that top portion where there's that gap around it yeah. for ventilation, I believe. It's, yeah. I'm, I'm not exactly sure where they're getting it from, but it's a freestanding gazebo. Okay, but that's so. what it's going to look like. Yeah, on I just wanted to verify, make sure that it was that and not the. Yes, yeah, on A2, if you look at that bottom picture, I believe that picture is taken from wherever it's coming from, the manufacturer. The kit or whatever. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it looks nicer. With the so the deck and the stair are existing. Yes. But you are staining or wrapping the. Deck? Uh, yes, we're wrapping it with uh, composite with Azac, uh, painting it same color as the railing um, okay. system, which is Dark a black. Dark charcoal, blackish. Yeah, okay. it's like a black. It's so bright. Yep. Yeah. So all that will get painted black, and then we're putting a new uh, uh, ceiling in there. Vinyl stone. Soffit. Stone is new. Mm -hmm. Stone is new. No There's stone a on the walls. Side screen going in near the mm -hmm. stairs for side. Yeah, just because because all the columns there as well as screening from the neighbors. No, that's nice. So yeah, I, I have like a little great. area with the TV there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it should be a nice space. And you said the gazebo's new. Yes. 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 I see the images over here. Okay. I guess the basement's finished. We really have plans to do that. And the underside of the, oh, it's owner provided aluminum gazebo. Uh, the gazebo? The gazebo is yes. provided by the owner. It's mm -hmm. a purchased yes. type of gazebo. Yeah, it's freestanding. 
It's just something they're going to purchase and put on the patio. Will they have footers? Uh, we will. Uh, we're going to do uh, a thickened area right around, but it's not it, actually for that. It's not necessary to do it. Um, those are the type that you can place right on a slab. Okay. Or a patio or. I'll make a motion to approve it as submitted. I'll second. Looks very nice. Thank you. Nice. Mr. Mark Fitz. I'm sorry, Mrs. Frazier first, right? Yes. Mr. Markovitz. Yeah, I guess. This is the next one. We'll see where the best spot is. Mr. Markovitz? Yes. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Right. Mr. Sharma? Yes. Mr. Spice? Yes. All set? Yep. Okay. Next, it'll go back through the building department yep. Yep. for Sounds the good. invoice and permit. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for a. Where is this? Thank you. Thank you. I'll make a motion to get some food. <laughs> <laughs> Just for yourself or for all of us? For all of us. <laughs> we make a motion to, to get us get, all food. Get food for all of us. Yeah. So, is that what we're going for? So, motion to adjourn. Got a second? Second. I'll second. David. First. This is Fraser. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Markovitz. Yes. Mr. Sharma? Yes. Mr. Spice? Yeah, here. What time is it? Yes. 7.38.